Ahoy, this is Denka. A few months ago, I started working with few video editors that offered their services to me. Well, few of them returned the edited videos back to me and I couldn't use them. It wasn't good because they were using AI tools, which were supposed to help them to get things done faster. However, they destroyed the look and feel of the videos, so I could not use them. So for this reason, I decided to make this tutorial, which would be a little bit different. I will be teaching you things that will step up your video editing to the next level. Stuff like pacing, correct sound levels, um, how many transitions to use, if any, and more. At the same time, I will teach you how to use five new AI features in Filmora properly. In fact, what you will learn today can be also applied in any other software. But if you would like to check out Filmora, I will link it below in a video description. This video is brought to you by Wondershare. Let's hit the biggest problem first, cutting and pacing of the whole video. Tools such as silence detection can help you speed up video editing if used properly. This tool basically finds silent moments that are cut out. The problem, however, is if you put wrong parameters in and the software cuts out the natural little breaks that are supposed to be there. Let's say I want to say two or three long sentences and then I want to take a very quick break for the audience's brains to catch up before I continue. Like this. This little break. Or let's say I record myself saying the whole paragraph many sentences. The whole take was very smooth. Unfortunately, wrong parameters created many different cuts. So the end video looked like it's kind of glitching and I am just simply moving constantly. And that's exactly what I got from one of those video editors. It's better if you bring the minimum duration up to really select only those big silent moments. This is where this feature really helps. It will save you a lot of time. When you're editing a video, pay attention to pacing. Don't make the video rushed. Keep natural breaks, but make sure it has a steady flow. Some of you might say, well, I am new to video editing. I don't even know how to use all those tools properly yet. I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. And thinking about cutting and pacing right now, it's just simply a little bit too much for me. Well, it doesn't have to be. And here comes the first new feature in this software that is called AI Copilot Editing. It's your personal video editing coach. You're not going to waste time looking for specific tool or researching how to do it. Let me show you how to add a transition. Okay, so it gives me a description of how to do it and also a direct button to those tools and even a link to an online guide if I want to learn more about it. It teaches you on the go. Let's talk about transitions a little bit more. Yes, another video I received from a video editor had way too many transitions. I asked to remove at least 70% of them. So how much is too much? Should you use one type of transition, two or more? What are the rules here? Should you use the same one? Should they be all different? Transitions are to be used in moderation. You don't want to put too many of them in because it kind of becomes almost annoying. It's going to take you away from the actual content. I'm not sure if you recently noticed on YouTube, but there are more and more videos that are slow paced plain, no transitions. When you see too many of those effects, it distracts you so much that you kind of forget <laughs> what the video is all about. You might use transition just to separate certain big parts of the video. When it comes to looks, you want to choose the one that actually blends into the video. You don't want to grab transitions that look completely different. Perhaps pick two or three max. Besides using transitions, you can spice up your videos with the help of masking tools. Let's just do this. And the shelves are gone. Let's bring them back. 
This was done with the help of a new AI masking tool. Place the clip on timeline, go to video, mask, and here is a new AI brush tool. Very simply, choose the right brush size, brush over the area, and done. Now it's selected. You can then tweak the area further. You can delete some points. You can extend and shrink it. You can blur the edges. You can tone down opacity. And you can invert the mask. Instead of using brush, there are more options, such as selecting a character or subject. Effects like these help keep the audience interested, but they are not the only way. I'm going to show you two videos I recently done. They are both extremely different. However, they both kept the audience watching. One was the Hover Air X1 introduction video. I've placed the most eye-catching clip at the beginning of the video to create a strong hook. Once they saw what this drone can do, they wanted to know more about this. The second video has no effects, no transitions, no eye-catching clips. It's just me talking about my YouTube journey and sharing the way I do things here on YouTube. The video grabbed attention because of the words. They were very strong. They touched many people out there. Video editing can be simple or as complicated as you want it to be, but the message you are trying to communicate must be strong. As you are editing, try to look at the video as an audience, not as a video editor trying to show off your video editing skills. Try to think if the video is making you interested in the content in the first place. Let's talk about the music, as that can set the tone of your video. But first, let me show you another new tool, which is AI Music Generator. Go to Audio Panel, and there it is on the left. There are eight different moods you can choose from. Happy, sad, exciting, chill, epic, peaceful, hopeful, and emotional. Choose one of these, select Music Duration, Minimum is 20 seconds, maximum is five minutes. Then select how many songs you want to be generated and here are the results. Choose one and download. I have to mention that the AI music cannot be used for commercial use. It can only be used for personal videos. Make sure you review licensing before you start using any music or stock footage. And here are my tips for adding background music in the videos. I've seen so many videos, surprisingly even from a quite known YouTubers, big YouTubers, where the background music was so strong that I had to really pay attention. I had to focus to understand what the person is saying. I usually keep my music in the background between minus 37 and minus 43 decibels, depending if it has stronger beats or not. I always edit with my headset on. When you use B-roll, you don't want to keep music at zero, as it might be too strong. Many people are watching the videos later at night when their family is already sleeping, and once the music goes, they have to quickly try to tone down the volume. I keep B-roll music between spoken words between minus five and minus seven decibels, just so it's the same as the rest of the video. We don't want any spikes. Many people don't even actually have sound on, especially if they are watching late at night. I do that. I have sound off and I just read subtitles because as I mentioned, some of the music spikes are so loud that can wake up the rest of the family. What is the fastest way to create subtitles? Let me show you AI text-based editing. There are several languages available, such as English, German, Spanish, French, Portuguese, Japanese, Chinese, Korean, Indonesian, and Spanish. I will choose English. Hit OK. Now, everything I said is already transcribed. You can delete all silent clips with one click. Once you export it to timeline, you will see it here above. When you double click, you can completely change the look of subtitles. You can pick different font, color, animation. The options are endless. You can move them anywhere on the screen. 
If you want the video to look professional, don't go crazy with colors and all that. Just keep it easy for the eyes to read. If you have a dark background, choose lighter font colors. If the video is bright, choose a darker and so on. Make sure it pops and it's easy to read. I will explain one more feature that could be also quite useful. Let's say I have a written story or I have a presentation to make and I need a very quick solution. Let's open AI text to video. You can place here your own article or you can let it generate everything for you. I have nothing, so I will generate the piece. Let's go with something simple. How to make a lemonade and it should be a quick guide to making a lemonade. It gave me the whole article. I want it short, so I will only select the recipe and remove the rest. Hit text to video and in a little bit, you have the whole video already edited. Here are your clips, spoken word and background music. You can use it as it is or completely change it around. Give it a thumbs up if you learned something new and don't forget to subscribe for more. If you would like to check out Filmora, again, link is in the video description below the video. Leave a comment below and I'll see you in one of those videos next. Ciao. Ahoy.